What are you listening to? Huh? What are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Not even out yet. I feel alive again. I know I gotta win. And I've been on my way. Ain't no abandoning. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB video man and you guys can see the title You know exactly what's about to go down something. I've never done before as most of us know man We got two days left in season 7 in my team and for what could potentially be the last season of 2k21 this year You know I at least had to go out by finally getting you guys a prediction video You guys have been asking for one basically all year for every single season and I just wasn't really good at predicting And I always like being surprised but for the final season. I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's make some guesses because I feel like this next season is gonna be out of this world In my opinion season 7 was the best season We've had content wise the amount of free content we got for no money spent players the amount of content you got for money spent players I think it was a good balance the gameplay that was kind of up in the air But today we're here to predict what we think is gonna be coming for season 8 of 2k21 before we dive into the predictions man If you guys are new to the channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button man We're now on the journey to 260 60k you guys have been showing insane support on the channel so thank you very much for that and also let me get a vibe check in the comments man how you guys been doing i feel like it's been a while since i've asked for a vibe check on the channel so i just want to make sure you guys have been doing all right i personally i've been doing good i've been enjoying the outdoors a lot more now that the weather's a lot better make sure you get that balance guys don't stay inside for too long trust me triple threat and spotlights can wait man and last but not least man i gotta give a major shout out to the person that basically helped me design all these concept cards and things that we're going to be guessing for the next season huge huge shout out to my boy braun2 UK on Twitter. I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you guys. Make sure you guys go ahead and show him love and show him appreciation if you guys think these card art designs are super nice because I feel like graphic designers really don't get enough appreciation in the community. So show him love if you guys can. That would be greatly appreciated on my end as well. And if you enjoy the content, you know you gotta like the video. But you guys can probably see by what I put on the thumbnail on this video. My guess for the theme, the name for season eight is gonna be Champion's Path. Yeah, so that sounds super epic in my head, but saying it out loud doesn't sound quite as epic. But yes, guys, the season 8 name I think is going to be called Champion's Path. And you guys can see by the poster that my boy Braun put together for me, I think the face of the next season is going to be Michael Jeffrey Jordan. If we're going to be talking about the playoffs and the finals and champions, why not talk about who is possibly the greatest champion of all time? Michael Jeffrey Jordan, he went 6-0 in the finals. I know some of you guys are going to be in the comments saying, HTB, Bill Russell, 11 rings. Yes, we know that, but we already got an invincible Bill Russell. So please, shut up. We're talking about season 8 now, okay? But yes, guys, I think Michael Jordan, he is going to be the face of the Champions Path theme that I've decided to go with. And you can see on the bottom there that I've gone with a bunch of guesses as to what the different rewards are going to be. So we're going to go over all of that together. Now, to start things off, we're going to talk about the season and the agenda. And every single season, we've started off with some sort of free card that's an evil card. We had Derrick Rose. We had LeBron James. I think those are the only two we've gotten. And I think the next one, I'm really hoping this one ends up being true because i think 2k would take a big dub but i think we're gonna get a free evo kobe bean bryant that's right guys i think they put kobe in packs literally all year the amethyst one at the beginning the pink diamond froby that went for a ton and then they got a lot of money out of the invincible kobe bryant so i think it would only be fair if 2k decides to start the next season with a free kobe a lot of kobe fans would really appreciate it i think no money spent players would be happy even if it evos to only a galaxy opal i'd be happy with that personally because we don't even have a shooting guard galaxy opal kobe in the game yet so i would 1 million percent take it give him like four Hall of Fame badges or something and make him usable for the rest of the year because here's the thing He's not gonna be that overpowered anyways with all these out of position cards that we're getting I think it would just be a neat free card to give the community So I think that's what we're gonna start off with the season And then I think the season level 40 reward is gonna be one of two free invincible cards We're gonna be able to get this season and I think it's gonna be invincible Larry Bird. Now, I know that's not the biggest name, but that's kind of why I went with it. One thing I realized with the Invincible cards is that they went with people that are big names, but not people that are very, very marketable. For example, Larry Bird this year, he hasn't really been a big part of any hype packs. The most time he was hype was when he had his Pink Diamond card. His Galaxy Opal was a VIP card second to, I think, Carmelo Anthony. And then we got another Galaxy Opal point guard version of Larry Bird. And the thing is, that Larry Bird has insane stats. But the thing about Larry Legend 
is a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of his jumper so i think the level 40 season reward is going to be very selective because at this point we're getting such insane cards in packs that a lot of people didn't even decide to go for vince carter so i think the one thing that's going to drive people to go for the season 40 reward next season is going to be that invincible card art because as soon as people see that a lot of people are going to want it he's not going to be a very overpowered player but he's going to be a big name enough player that people are going to want to use him go for him and in the right hands he can definitely be dangerous so my guess for starting the season is going to be the kobe and for finishing off the season is going to be larry bird and i think they're going to follow the same concept as they did this season where all the xp is going to be available day one so if you really grind it out you can get yourself a Larry Bird and I know there's gonna be people that are gonna want to do that so that's why I'm guessing Larry Legend is gonna be the level 40 reward now jumping on to other things we're gonna quickly take a look at the season agenda here guys because if you look at the lifetime agenda guys and you go to planetarium there's a earn 594 stars in domination and I think the final domination is gonna be coming this upcoming season I don't see them holding it up until the July August season because that would make no sense and at that point no one's really playing the game so I think we get the final domination domination reward and this is where we're gonna see our second free invincible card now when it came to the domination rewards this year they honestly weren't the best but they weren't the most hype i think at this point 2k is going to be giving out free versions of players that were really good in the league but they didn't translate that well into my team and one person comes off in the back of my mind who i'm really hoping is the domination reward because this would be a big dub for the no money spent but i think you're gonna have to complete all the stars in domination i think you'll get players along the way but i think the final reward is going to be invincible dark matter dirk nowitzki man king dirk who actually got a big upgrade in my team this year for those of you guys that did not use his galaxy opal his jumper is so much better and the thing is his jumper could be even deadlier when it's now updated to very quick they can give him good dribble animations he's too heavy to be able to curry side as well so he's not going to be super overpowered but i think he's going to be good enough once again for people to go for i think 2k is going to be milking a lot of big names that may seem overpowered but aren't necessarily going to be demigods like the Giannis's, the curry sliding porzingis's and stuff like that me personally if i see dark matter dirk nowitzki i'm going for it and 2k hasn't really released a lot of free bigs in the game that are nice like that we got george biken already who's been cool but i think things can get a little bit better but i think dirk nowitzki personally would be the best reward and one thing to keep in mind with all these rewards guys every single person here has been a champion again the champion's path it's going to go with the trend with people that have won rings and stuff like that so you guys let me know in the comments what you think of that i think it would be a dub reward personally because if you get that then you can go up against cards like kevin garnett porzingis the kevin matumbo and be able to prosper and dirk nowitzki in god form with the jumper he has this year he's got to get a good card he's not the most marketable when it comes to packs either so i think giving him away for free like this would be the ideal situation and now that we got that out of the way let's jump into limited and unlimited but when it comes to talking about unlimited i think i speak for us all when i say none of the unlimited rewards guys have really been worth it i mean larry johnson this season was not it michael red last season was definitely not it the season before i think it was kevin McHale, and he was the one card that was worth it but only for like a week and you had to get that card within the first couple days of the season dropping because i think it was like a week or two later they dropped a galaxy opal anthony davis that was just so much better than kevin McHale, and i don't think that trend is gonna change here's the thing when it comes to unlimited i think they're gonna try to milk it with names that might be known but names where people that are familiar with the game and familiar with animations aren't gonna necessarily be too hyped about the cards and one person comes to my mind when i think about has a little bit of hype but does not have the animations and i think it's gonna be none other than michael jordan psychic that way kind of fits into the champion's path but i think we're gonna be getting a dark matter scotty pippen now whether it's gonna be an invincible card or not honestly it's not gonna matter i think if they make it an invincible it'll give people a bigger drive to go get it but at the end scotty pippen's animations this year just have not been it they can make him a little bit better they can give him a curry side but as long as he's got the scotty pippen jumper even on very quick guys it's just been very slow this year and scotty pippen this year just hasn't really gotten love like that he hasn't really been been a big part of any set so i think this would be a perfect throwaway card in unlimited for 2k to use and scotty pippen me personally i'd be hyped for him i wouldn't mind a scotty to play shooting guard slash power forward with the right animations because it's just all his other cards they can't really do much and maybe his jumper on very quick will be usable but i think he'll be a hype enough name where people can go for him if they want but if you don't want to you don't have to worry about that that's kind of the trend i've seen with unlimited this whole year is 
since you don't have to collect all these cards for some big reward like you had to last year for Julius Irving, 2K is just kind of putting cards out there where it's like, if you want that free card, go get it. But if you really don't want it, he's not going to be overpowered anyways. And I think that's going to be the case with Scottie Pippen. He's going to be a cool card. He's not going to be anything overpowered, but a lot of people are going to be happy if they have him on the squad. Anything honestly would just be better than us getting a Larry Johnson this season, who off the bat was just not usable. Like he just wasn't making lineups. And that's kind of the same case with Scottie Pippen. Depending on what packs we end up getting Friday, Scottie Pippen already might not be worth it. Because what if we get like an invincible Carmelo Anthony or something? That's going to drive people to not want the card but at the same time his name is scotty pippen that's gonna stick out to a lot of people and some people might grind for him if they give him x and base though then we can have a nice little conversation 2k but uh now let's talk about the limited reward which also every season has been better than the unlimited reward i mean last season we got richard lewis this season we got elgin baylor even though they haven't been the demigod cards they have definitely been better than their unlimited alternates and i think for limited this season we're gonna see a nice little bad boy in there because keep in mind we never really get these cards until the end of the season so we wouldn't get this card until late june early july so i think it's going to be a big name and i think his name is going to be dark matter Lamar Odom somebody who's got a lot of hype when it comes to my team not too much hype when it comes to actual NBA history but Lamar Odom man this card this year has been cracked and I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen a Galaxy Opal version of him already so I think 2k is just gonna skip it and put him straight to dark matter because his pink diamond wasn't really selling like that in packs his diamond wasn't really selling like that in packs now his pink diamond actually ended up being a budget beast so I think in this case 2k giving us a Lamar Odom one of the better rewards for next season would be a major dub that'd be a card i'd want to grind for because even though we might get like an invincible kevin durant an invincible Giannis at small forward an invincible mellow lamar odom is going to be one of those cards that's still going to be worth the grind because that was the case with elgin baylor this year a lot of people counted elgin baylor out because vince carter was the reward but people didn't realize that elgin baylor was going to have the ray allen base one of the nicest jumpers and in the right hands is one of the deadliest cards in the game offensively defensively we it's another story but offensively that Elgin Baylor has been amazing and I think that's going to be the case with Lamar Odom if they release the Lamar Odom I don't think he'd be too overpowered I think it would be the perfect grind but again you guys let me know in the comment section so guys we're going to quickly talk about a reward which for the whole year of 2k21 we can all agree has been an absolute dumpster fire. It's been something you haven't even looked at more than once, except for the fact that it glowed really nicely. And that's gonna be the Ascension Boards. Ascension Boards this year have been garbage. Other than the beginning of the year where we got the Pink Diamond Bob Lanier, who was actually usable for a little bit, everybody else has been a hot pile of dumpster garbage. Let's just be honest. This season, we got Sidney Moncrief, who is a cool card. Don't get me wrong. He's fun, but you cannot put him on any God Squad. You're up against 10-foot point guards right now. And one thing 2K has done with Ascension Boards is they put in legendary NBA players who just would not prosper when it comes to the My Team scene. For example, Bill Walton, one of the greatest passing big men of all time. Why does that matter in my team? He can't shoot the three. He can't curry slide because that's everybody's mindset at this point. And Sidney Moncrief, while he is a great card and he's a smaller Gary Payton basically that card just doesn't prosper either because we got Ben Simmons and all these demigods out here same thing with Adrian Dantley and whoever else they put in here and I think that's going to be the case going into this season I think the ascension board is going to be a very mid reward but it's going to be a very well known name one of the greatest champions in NBA history and a top five point guard of all time and I'm talking about dark matter isaiah thomas in the ascension boards now this is another one of those cards that 2k could make invincible because even if they do he's not necessarily going to be the most op card he's a six foot one point guard it'd be a nice little cheaper and free alternative to people that cannot afford the Allen iverson but uh yeah man when it comes to isaiah thomas i can't remember the last time this dude got a my team card this year i think he had like a diamond card early in the year i don't remember him getting a pink diamond he definitely doesn't have a galaxy opal and he definitely doesn't have a dark matter so this could be one of those players again an nba champion champions path that you could use in the ascension board and it could work out for people that could be happy to get him for squad builders and just to use them for fun but it's going to be one of those cards where if you don't get him you're not losing any sleep at night because again he's not going to be that overpowered he's going to have cool stats and stuff like that but that's going to be every card moving forward at this point so now that we got that out of the way let's talk about a place where you actually get good rewards and that's the triple threat offline and online 
streets man the rewards that 2k has put in there has been by far the best for free players this year so shout out to you 2k for doing that and i think the trend is going to continue this season now usually they put in some random historic player that nobody knows about and he's going to be a demigod but in this case i think they're going to put in a good old my team favorite a lot of people have actually been asking about this card and this man he's a seven time nba champion that's going to be dark matter Robert Ori. I think that's who they're going to throw in for triple threat offline. He's going to be a good enough card where people are going to want him. A lot of people know who Robert Ori is. He's hit a lot of big time shots. And I think a dark matter version of him would be an absolute beast when it comes to the my team streets. At this point, you really can't put in anything too overpowered in there unless it's like a seven foot five demigod. And I don't think 2k is going to put like an invincible dark matter minute bull in triple threat. Just, that just wouldn't make sense. But someone who's been an NBA champion seven times at that, I think would be perfect for 2k go ahead and put him in triple threat offline i promise you i'll be grinding for him and i know you guys are going to treat him with the right stats he's always had the right jumpers so i think he's going to be worth the grind but when it comes to triple threat online i don't think it's going to be as hype as people think i think they're going to do what they did with julius randall where they're going to put a player that's been in the nba but isn't really going to sell packs at this point in the year and i think that's going to be 99 overall dark matter draymond green who honestly i'm surprised at this point hasn't gotten himself a dark matter card because at this point there's really no reason to run draymond green on your lineup unless he plays point guard so if 2k gives him out for free i don't think a lot of people are going to stress but he has that big enough name man that dude is steph curry's teammate defensive player of the year one of the greatest playmakers of all time at the forward position if 2k gives him the right stats i don't think too many people are going to complain i know i personally would love his card with his jumper on very quick with all the right stats i think he'd be very usable and it's six seven he's gonna be able to curry side both on current gen and next gen making him a very usable card when it comes to my team he's gonna be usable enough to have fun with but not too usable where he's overpowered in the my team streets because there's really no way to make any cards overpowered moving forward unless they're 610 plus and 2k you gotta take it easy on the free 610 cards there's danny fairy there's tony kukoc they've been giving out a lot of that so i think taking it easy with these kind of triple threat rewards would be a big dub in my opinion now when it comes to the token market guys i didn't really get braun to design anything because i honestly haven't really cared for the token market this year it's had some good cards but none of them have really been big name like they have been in previous years last year we got bobo at small forward this year i think we're gonna get like a dark matter robert parish for the dark matter rewards we got bill walton last season not one person not once did i run into this bill walton since he's been out so i don't think a lot of people care about this card pete maravich was a big dub but again very historic player and i think 2k is going to continue with that trend maybe they're going to surprise me and actually put a good card in there i mean i'm sitting on 2000 tokens so 2k you know I'm going to be waiting, but again, I don't really have high hopes for the token market. I don't think you guys should either. Only thing I'm really hoping for the token market is they did what they did last season and add badges and hopefully better packs this season. I think that'd be a bigger dub, but I'm honestly not too focused on the players and I wouldn't really look too forward to that if I were you guys. But again, maybe they'll surprise us. Who knows? Now, last but not least, let's talk about the cards that I think we're getting this Friday. And two cards I think we should be for sure getting is a Dark Matter Kevin Durant. I think he's really overdue. Not an Invincible one just a dark matter one and then also a dark matter clay thompson because the only other good clay thompson we've gotten this year was a diamond one and then there was also his galaxy opal one which was a lock-in so i think it's about time that 2k throws a juiced clay thompson with a very quick jumper in the packs i think that would sell quite a lot those are two big names and then for the invincible card i think it's gonna be a big name but i don't think it's gonna be anything overpowered i think it's gonna be invincible Dwayne Wade who honestly wouldn't be the worst card I think it'd be cool for people on current gen who like to run him at point guard he's got that insane base 98 that I think a lot of people will take advantage of and then on next gen it's Dwayne Wade man I don't mind getting hoopy with Dwayne Wade one thing I've noticed with the invincible cards is a lot of them they're more to have fun with than for them to be overpowered the thing is people are willing to pay an insane amount of MT so these have more been luxurious cards I think later this season we're gonna be seeing people like invincible Carmelo Anthony invincible Kareem invincible Invincible Hakeem Olajuwon for sure. I think he's very overdue and he's also one of the greatest champions in NBA history. So I think that's about it for my predictions. I've been talking for a long time. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of all of them. I think for the most part, I think I might be accurate. If they follow the champion's path idea, which I'm going for and every reward is some kind of NBA champion, that would be a big dub. But if you guys have other guesses, let me know in the comments. With that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. I need to drink some freaking water. If you enjoyed the video, don't 
don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazer nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care